India point of view, this is the third time that Honorable Prime Minister is visiting South Africa. And this visit also marks the 30th anniversary of the diplomatic relationship between India and South Africa. I think this both sides for India and South Africa is very important. Now, as far as the BRICS agenda is concerned, there are many issues that are being discussed. And most of important, mostly, you have the BRICS expansion item on the agenda. And second is the use of national currency for trading and economic activity amongst the BRICS countries. So that is the two. But from India's point of view, development dimension and issues that are so crucial and critical for the global south, on which Prime Minister visionary leadership has always been emphasizing that the solutions and the challenges for the global south that we all have to collectively work together. There are lots of ideas of Prime Minister Modi's which are being discussed in the BRICS uh, meetings, in the negotiations at the Sherpa level, and this will feed into the, uh, to the uh, leaders' declaration um, in a couple of days from now. Well, India's rise, as Prime Minister very clearly has envisaged and envisioned that we will be very soon a third largest country in the world. But you also need many partners to ensure that rise is smooth and that rise is sustainable. And Africa becomes uh, an important partner in that rise of India. Uh, Africa has uh, many complementarities with the Indian economy. And that is what Prime Minister Modi has always been emphasizing upon. India's low-cost solutions can be useful for economic activity within Africa. And Prime Minister has also taken the, the, the global south agenda much further. The development dimension from the developing countries' perspective, from the global south perspective, is, is capturing the imagination of the leadership around the world, not just BRICS, but also in the G20. And food security, for example, the millets is now being discussed. Lifestyle for environment, I believe that is also a very important part of the discussion on climate change, environment, and energy. So, and most importantly, uh, Prime Minister has invited African Union to be the member of the G20. So African leaders are excited. There will be more than 50 African leaders will be here uh, for the summit. And that will be a great opportunity for leaders of both Africa and Prime Minister Modi to again exchange views on this important uh, uh, trust that Prime Minister has made in taking uh, uh, Africa Union into the G20 process.